Hey everyone, Nick from Nart Comics here. It's currently right before 8 a.m. Um, I'm on my way to Near Mint Sunday in Orange, California. Um, I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently today. I'm going to do this video at the beginning and then we'll try to do a little bit of video on the con floor. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record. And then, um, yeah, I'll show the haul off after. But uh, we are ready to go. As you can see down here, I have my, my short box in case I buy bulk little portfolio and then the bag I always bring and then my trusty fanny pack so let's head off to near mint sunday and I will see you there we'll be there in about an hour and a half so a little time to kill see you there the hell was the last one, last one was good Fortunately, I'm, I'm there to make money, right. but also good enough that I can't not do it if it continues to be like that. We're back. Uh, I just finished at Near Mint Sunday. Um, great con here in Orange County. So if you're from Southern California, I highly recommend you go to this con. Uh, it's only comic books. It was a little smaller today because it was raining a little bit. So I don't think they wanted people to go outside. Um, I was in there for about three hours, a little over three hours. And I spent about 400 bucks. Um, so a little bit less than last time. Um, so I'll show off what I got and then I'll save the biggest book for the end because and about $260 on that book. So first booth I went to, um, I got these two books for, I believe $20. Uh, I've been looking for a really high grade copy of this for a while. And this looks like a 9.4 to 9.8, anywhere in there. Um, it's the first appearance of Anarchy. Uh, he pretty much threw this book in. Um, great little booth, a uh, little shop of comics. Uh, first appearance of Anarchy. I already have a copy of this, but a little bit lower grade um so i think this one is higher and then i've been looking for this for a while uh this one's pretty high grade too i think this is a 9.8 candidate this is the one in either one in 10 or one in 25 the trad more variant of hulk number three um i was gonna buy this on ebay recently but then i said to myself you know what i'm just gonna wait for near mint sunday and then we will go from there sorry the camera's trying to focus a little bit um this is the first cameo of the titan hulk uh, really cool book, um, and I'm glad to have it. Either 1 in 10 or 1 in 25, but really cool trad more variant. Um, the next booth I went to, these were all half off of their sticker, and their stickers were already pretty low. So for $4, I got a newsstand copy of the first appearance of Doomsday. Um, it's 4 bucks. I couldn't leave it there for $4. Um, for 20 bucks, I almost bought this for more expensive online this isn't a 9.8 it's got some spine takes but first appearance of star girl i believe or before she turns into star girl this is that really awesome jeff johns run uh stars and stripes zero this was 20 bucks uh huge fan of dark souls so for five dollars i just grabbed it um and i think they threw it in this is dark souls legends of the flame cover e issue one first print Cool book. Um, you see these everywhere, but you don't really see the second print too often. This is a pretty nice copy. This is the first appearance of Bishop. This is that golden second print, or first cameo of Bishop. I don't know if it's the first appearance. First cameo of Bishop. This is that golden second print. Um, really cool book. So glad to have that. I didn't want to. I didn't want a first print. I think this is a lot lower print run. Um, so the gold second print is really cool. For twenty dollars, I mean. This book used to be well over 100, and it's not horrible conditions, probably a 7.5, maybe an 8. But Eternals number one for 20 bucks, come on, I couldn't leave it there. Uh, he added at 40, half off, so $20. Uh, Kirby Goodness, Eternals one. Movie flopped, but I mean, I couldn't leave it for 20 bucks. Uh, this goes right into my collection. This was $5.00. Um, I gotta take it out. I didn't even check it. I meant for five dollars. I just grabbed it. It's got a little, some pieces taken out. But I'm working on my Strange Adventures Dead Man Run. Um, I didn't have this one yet. 
So this is Strange Adventures number 213. Uh, for $2, Legends number one, for Prince of Amanda Waller. And then for two more dollars on top of that, um, Crisis on Infinite Earths number six, first appearance of the Anti-Monitor. Is it the Anti-Monitor or the Monitor? Pretty sure it's the Anti-Monitor. Um, at another booth, I was 20 minutes late and I would have completed my run, but they were missing one book. Uh, we have Black Panther number seven. Black Panther number eight. Black Panther number nine. Black Panther number 10. Black Panther number 12. And Black Panther number 14. So the only one I'm missing now is number 13, that really cool pink cover. So those were the bulk books I bought. This all came to about, let's see, 60, um, 80, so 120, about $140. And then for $260, I wanted a big book today. You probably just saw it. Um, I bought a Masters of Kung Fu, number 15. He had it at 400 and the guy was awesome. His, uh, his name is Into the Void Comics. I believe that's him. He looked on eBay immediately, saw it was selling for 280 and said, I will do 260 So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, really cool book. The only problem is this one dog ear. I don't know if you can see it. It's right up here. But uh, other than that, really excited to have this. Really excited about my haul today. Um, some great books. Some really nice people. Uh, again, if you're ever in Orange, California, I highly recommend Near Mint Sunday. Um, but anyway, that's everything I picked up. I'm Nick from Narc Comics. Thanks for watching.